What's up guys, it's Tiger Arcade, and today I wanted to talk about the Moog Subharmonicon and the drone mode, and really why that is the foundation for your sound design with that synthesizer. So again, you might be like, well, drone mode, what are you talking about? There's no drone mode. Well, there technically is. There's a button that you can press called the envelope generator button. And if you hold that button down, it locks in the parameters at their highest levels. If you've not read the Moog Subharmonicon's manual, it discusses this when you're getting started. And it's really critical for when you're trying to just shape your sound. Let's dive into that so I can give you a demonstration. So first off, what am I talking about with the drone function? Well, you have this button here. It says EG stands for envelope generator. Most of us just leave it lit up like this because that means it's going to be played off of how we have it determined in the envelope generator section. Uh, for example, with my decay, you know, See how it's influenced by that in attack? Slowly comes in, and then out with decay. But if we want it to just keep going continuously, there is a special way to do that. You just hold down the envelope generator button, and what it does is it locks in the parameters at their highest level and just keeps the sound going based on where you are on the sequencer. So we'll reset it, start it over to the beginning. So it's gonna be playing off of these frequencies um, based on the main oscillators. So let's hold it down. And you'll see that these no longer do anything. And it's just going to continuously play them. Um, and then if you adjust these, it will clearly influence um, your sound. So we still have the ability to play with our cutoff, resonance. You press it again to turn it off. This is just a really quick and easy way to get droning. Um, again, it's going to be determined on where you are on your sequence. That's just a really helpful, quick, easy tool. Why is this so important? Well, it's really the foundation. If I want to, you know, set how I want my sound for each sequence, um, this is going to be a really useful way rather than holding down the trigger button, which also just plays that sound but that can be cumbersome and you don't want to have to sit there holding it the whole time, so you just hold down this button. When you're ready to move on to the next one, hit the next button. Now you'll notice that they're going at different speeds and that's because how I have the polyrhythm set up, one slower than the other, um, and that is the reason why. So you can kind of play with your levels as you've got it droning.
So hopefully you found this useful, beneficial in some way. Uh, it's definitely going to be a way that you can tweak your knobs uh, if you're trying to shape each uh, step of your sequence. And if not, it's just another great way to just drone and play along with other music. Uh, if you did find this helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. And we will see you guys next time. Peace.